We know you're still working on an agreement with the uh, Obama administration on Medicaid, uh, an agreement that would allow your Healthy Utah plan to uh, uh, take place of a standard Medicaid expansion. Um, you were negotiating that with the Department of Health and Human Services, and part of that negotiation, as I understand it, has been a work requirement for recipients of the program. Is that something that's hung up negotiations on this and is keeping it from uh, reaching final agreement? Well, it's, it's an alternative to Medicaid expansion that we call Healthy Utah. I believe it, in fact, gives us better outcomes and better results, hence that's why I'm proposing it. It's trying to take and use our money and have Utah spend it as opposed to the federal government spending the money. Um, and we have 35 different issues that we've been negotiating with the Obama administration and the Department of Health, of which we've agreed on about 25 to 26 of them. The last few do hinge around the work requirement, the work effort that we've tried to put in place. That is a stumbling block, uh, seemingly, uh, seemingly right now, to have us resolve this issue. I met with Sylvia Burwell, Secretary of Health, here just two weeks ago when she was here in Utah and spent about an hour with her talking about this and other issues. But uh, I left being cautiously optimistic that we will be able to resolve this here in September. Uh, I'm going back to Washington in September to meet with her, and hopefully we'll be able to resolve this stumbling block, which is kind of revolves around the work requirement, really a work effort that we're saying that people ought to be, if they're able-bodied, to, to, uh, as a requirement, as a condition for having the taxpayer give them health care. If you look at uh, various audits that have been done on that, though, they claim, you know, from local advocacy groups that the majority of those are the working poor anyway. So what are some of the specific stumbling blocks with the work requirement? Yeah. Well, you, uh, I, I agree with that. I, I don't think there's very few people that wouldn't qualify. Uh, they are the working poor. Sixty-six percent of those people in that category of uh, what we would call Medicaid expansion or our, our, our alternative to that, Healthy Utah, is uh, are working so and we are giving a pass to those who have physical disabilities mental disabilities medically frail that's going to take in a significant portion of the people who aren't working and can't work so we're just simply saying that for those who are able-bodied if you're able to work then you ought to at least as a condition for having the taxpayers give you free health care or some kind of subsidized health care at least a, a minimal requirement is that you ought to let the state of Utah help you find a job. We have a great Department of Workforce Services that has the best record in America for people who are unemployed and getting them back to getting a job. So we'll help you with that. But you have to at least be willing to look, be, be willing to act, go out and, and explore the possibility of getting a job if you want the taxpayer to give you health care. That's all we're saying. And, uh, I, again, we have some in the administration, uh, the Obama administration, are saying, well, we don't want to do that. Uh, we think that, that President Obama has said to me and to others, we want to have state to have flexibility, to have uh, the ability to kind of create their own unique programs in the state. I'm taking him at his word. I'm expecting that we're going to get that resolved, and we'll come together in some kind of an agreement, hopefully by the end of September. Why don't Before they want to do that, though? Mm -hmm. uh, have they given you reasons for that? Uh, the reason is that they think people should just be able to go, and if you need health care, get it, period. Uh, we think that takes away some of the in, individual responsibility. Uh, I, we think it's good policy for those who can work. You'd want to have a job to be uh, at least a part of the program rather than just be on the government dole. Uh, we think there's uh, good reasons on many levels to have that as a part of, the, of a, a healthy Utah approach. We think it is healthy. And, uh, again, I, uh, I, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic that we're going to be able to resolve it. So I'm not discouraged about it. It's taken a little longer than I'd thought, but I hope to have that resolved by the end of this next month. Where's the room for compromise on, on that issue? You say that, that everyone needs to work. You're talking about a relatively small number of people in that population that uh, would qualify to work under mm -hmm. Healthy Utah. Some of the administrations say no. Where's the where's the room for compromise there? Do fewer people have to work under an arrangement? Well, I, like I believe under the law, the Secretary of Health, which is now Sylvia Burwell, has discretion to, in fact, allow this to take place. And uh, I know she's wanting to make uh, sure that she's comfortable that she's doing things appropriately under the law that's passed by Congress. 
Uh, we've had an analysis, a uh, legal analysis shows she does have the discretion to do that. That's part of the discussion. So it's really not a matter of uh, trying to find some kind of compromise. Uh, all we're saying is there has to be some kind of work effort, you know, that if you want to have the taxpayer subsidize you and, and give you health care, you ought to at least be willing to go out there and look for a job, and we'll help you. Uh, so it's not anything that's foreign. We do it with our uh, food stamp program, with our, our temporary aid to needy families, our TANF program. I mean, it's part of government uh, programs already. We just think it ought to be part of this effort with Healthy Utah. It's not a foreign concept. It's a good concept. And, uh, again, uh, it, I expect that it will only impact a very few people. And I'm, I have a hard time th believing that there are people out there saying, well, you know what, I'm not going to go look for a job. I just want free health care. Don't ask me to go out and look for a job. I just don't think there's many, very many, many people who fall into that category. Yeah. The Governor's Monthly News Conference, an archive of transcripts, video, and audio, is available online. Please visit KUED.org.